Hey besiegers, how you doing? Okay, uh, I've got a couple of surprises this week. First thing I did was I wanted to upgrade slightly my maglev train. Um, so I did this, I used the big cogs, set at an angle and with um, ploughs offset underneath them um, so that it just glides along and then went back to using the air blocks like I did in the original one. Um, it's really fast, it's really cool, it works really well. I did do a curve track for this but uh, it, it was kind of funny on the corner so it, and it was taking up a lot of processor so I tried this then I tried the double track as you can see and then uh, that worked really well. Yeah, that's quite a good effect. I used Editor Plus mod to just copy and paste it over and spin it around and do what you want with it so it really well. But also what I did was I put them on the same track, pointed at each other, because a lot of people have asked me, please do some uh, train crashes. So here we are, we'll have about a few, about half a minute here worth of uh, plane crashes, plane crashes, train crashes even. And uh, film from the inside, it's really cool, because I pulled the camera back just at the moment of the explosion. Oh yeah, Michael Mann, uh, and again, and then we'll take it to the Midlands in a second, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go, no freighter, sorry. Slow it down, and ba-boom. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's a good train. I'll put this one up. I'll put the, the, the two trains running into each other. Uh, it's about 2,000-something, so... Okay, uh, this is my my Christmas fairy light, uh, which I hate, um, experiment. I just wanted to see what it would be like if I held some blades with pins and then put explosives inside them how much of it left, how much it withstood, and etc, etc. And then just hit the P and let the pins drop afterwards. So that was quite interesting. Just a wee experiment, just to um, change things up a bit. Okay, now we're going to go to another blade project, the Blade Runner. And this is something else. After using this, the hinges and the, and the large cogs, I wanted to find the cheapest, i.e. the most efficient um, rail track I could find and it turned out to be the blades themselves so one blade and one pin you know gets you a few blocks forward and they are uh, they're very stable and they're easy to run on the wheels grip on them so yeah it makes it ideal track I mean this is a way this is much bigger than any of the other rail tracks I've made and yet this one is only about 1500 blocks so it's a good 1200 blocks less than the one that you just seen a minute ago which is pretty astonishing uh, when you think about it. This one was, originally I started out, I was going to use it to do what's called the chicken run on Reddit, whereby you go use one machine, go around, and you kill all eight chickens, or capture them if you're good enough, with one machine. Uh, there's a lot of restrictions, like a bounding box. I don't know what a bounding box is, I've never heard of that before. Um, you've got to be in there, and you're not allowed to use mods. Uh, I thought, I just don't know, I can't imagine living without mods, so this one's got mods. And uh, this thing, yeah, it's, it's quite good. I didn't kill all the chickens because I'm really shit at this kind of thing. But um, I did give some of them a good fright. Uh, the other reason, oh, by the way, I, I, I painted the background green for contrast because the blades themselves were showing up a bit shiny against that white background. So this is just to sort of um, mellow things out a bit, make it easier to see. There you go, killed one at least anyway. Yeah. And a bomb. A bomb. That's the chicken standing beside that bomb. I know you don't believe me, you can rewind it. This guy's hiding around a corner, thinks he can get away. No. Um, I took out to the uh, the old mine. Um, and these things are heavy. Uh, they really are. But not as heavy as the next thing we're going to pick up in a couple of minutes, you'll see. But um, the idea was not to... I like this crane. This crane is really good, actually. Um, it's all worked out very well and very neat, so you can use it for all sorts of stuff. And it, you get an easier chance of picking it up because of so many grabbers. But it's all been worked out well. Now, what I wanted to do was um, drop it on this guy's head. See? Like this. But I missed completely, totally and utterly. But it's all right, had another go. Yeah, good crane. If you're downloading this, you'll enjoy that. You can do all sorts with it. It's great. And... I broke up and missed again. Oh well. Uh, off to Midlands. Because I, I wanted to try and lift, and these, these guys are notoriously heavy. I don't know if it's because they're supposed to get armour or whatever, but you just can't lift them up. So I thought I would go with my super crane over here, grab a few of them, and just see how well the pins and the blades and the winches. You notice how strong the winches are now? The winches are very strong. 
they've, they've improved greatly. Uh, so here we go, we've got one, two, I think we'll get three, three or four, there we go. And now, now when I try to lift, it just is just unbelievably difficult. There you go. It just crushes the fuck out of it, and uh, there's nothing. There's no way to lift them up. That's as high as I got them, and it's all broke, busted and broken. And you drop it, and they just come back down, and they don't die. So, back to the drawing board on that one. Okay, I passed ten thousand subscribers this week, but it took me by surprise, and so I didn't have a, a special made for it. Uh, but next week, hopefully, I will get some stuff done. And uh, we'll have a bit of fun with that. That'll be good. So I'll just leave you here. Again, in the Midlands, as, as I went in and bombed them this time to soften them up, they, they caught fire and, and bounced up into the air and set me on fire as well. So there's no winning with those little bastards. There really isn't. Okay, that's it. See you later. Bye.